सो गाइज आफ्टर एटीन मंथ्स ऑफ वेट वी आर फाइनली बैक अगेन ट्रेडिंग एट थर्टी फोर थाउजेंड डॉलर फॉर बिट कॉइन एंड दिस इज एक्साइटिंग टाइम्स बट अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल आर एक्चुअली थिंकिंग दैट द बुलडन हैज स्टार्टेड इवन आई मैंशन इन माई प्रीवियस अपडेट दैट इफ वी ब्रेक अब थर्टी थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड डॉलर वी आर गोइंग टू सी अ मूव टूवर्ड्स द अप साइड एंड द बुल रन विल स्टार्ट नाउ इवन दो आई डू थिंक दैट द बुल रन हैज स्टार्टेड द बुल रन ऑल्सो कम्स विद सम शेक आउट्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई विल गिव you everything that you need to know on smaller as well as larger time frames so make sure that you don't miss any part of this video and watch it till the end So guys welcome back to Hybrid Whales and this is the weekly chart for Bitcoin and as you can see that we were trading in this rising wedge pattern and we actually broke down from it and then we are again coming back into it but getting rejected at this point of control which is this resistance line from where we have rejected three times in the past but as you know that after three attempts to break a trend line we usually actually see a breakout so i am expecting the same right now but if you just zoom out a bit and see the chart on a larger time frame then you can see very well that we are not going to be inside of a bull run and we are not going to invalidate the possibility of a shake out towards the downside in case of a black swan event in the previous bull market we saw covid and in this bull market we have the fear of recession and the us government shutdown a lot of things still align perfectly for a black swan event to happen this time as well but as i already mentioned in my previous updates as well that there is no certainty that we actually see a recession but there is a huge possibility for that so we have to keep that into consideration as well now coming back to the point i am going to say one thing and that you should understand very well that until unless we break above the 0.618 fibonacci level for a fibonacci from this low to this high we are not going to be in a confirmed bullish trend on the weekly time frame and that actually means that even if we go from this point onwards towards $48000 we could still see another shake out towards the downside and we could even make a lower low which you can see on this time frame right now the last swing low is at around $25000 so until unless we break above $48700 we could still see another move and a break of structure which is the $25000 level but i think that before we do that we still have some upside for the shorter term because a lot of our bearish case scenarios have now been invalidated as i mentioned in my previous update that $30800 level was very crucial now guys if you did not take along on this move towards the upside and you missed this move i would just say one thing that market is not going anywhere it's here and if you try and fomo at the top of the chart then you will actually lose money it's better to wait outside and not trade than to lose money trying to catch another move which you have already lost all right and further in this video i will also be covering shorter time frames so watch out for that as well now if we zoom in a bit again then you can see right around here we have the 0.382 fibonacci level from where the price actually getting rejected right now which is at $36000 level now we can see very well this region had a gap on the weekly time frame so once we broke above this region which was around $31800 and $32430 we had to see this short squeeze towards the upside and that is what we saw and if you see on your left right around here we don't have any significant support in this region as well when we came down so that would mean that we should not see for the resistance when we go up so that actually means that we should be on our way to reach this point which is coming at around 45000 and 46000 dollars but before we do that we have to consider this demand zone right here which acted as support in the past and right now could act as resistance which is this white box right between 34286 and 36241 so that would mean that i would want to see a weekly close above or inside this white box instead of closing below it so that would mean that i would want to see a weekly close above this wick right here which is at $34300 and consequently that would also be a close above this resistance line on the 
weekly time frame all right now guys coming on to the daily time frame we can see that we saw this impulsive structure towards the upside in this wave one two three four and five and then because we have now taken out this high so we have to consider this structure to be a bearish one or a bearish correction and that is what we saw we saw a b c expanding flat a higher high and a lower low on some exchanges and on some exchanges it did not so there is still a debate around this but i think that right now we should be looking at prices towards the upside instead of looking at a price below 24000 25000 dollars in the immediate shorter term i'm not going to invalidate the entire theory that we could still see 20000 to 25000 dollars levels more precisely i am still looking at 23000 dollars level but we could see a move up first and that is what we are going to look at today and that would also mean that this resistance which was between $31,000 and $32,000 is now going to act as a strong zone of support all right now if you just zoom out a bit again then you can see that if this is your one two three four five wave impulsive structure and if this is your correction that would actually mean that this entire move towards upside is also your wave one and this move towards the downside or sideways is your wave two now interestingly if you plot a trend based fibonacci from this low to this high and then this retracement level then you can find price targets for a wave three of this larger impulsive wave structure in which this is your wave one wave two two and now we are looking for a wave three all right and that would mean that the most common price target for a wave three is between the 0.786 fibonacci level and the 1.236 fibonacci level these levels are between $37,000 and $44,000 we have almost touched the 0.786 fibonacci level from where we actually got rejected and if you look at the left this is where things start getting interesting because you can see right around here we have this gap from above 36,755 till 39,667. So I would not be surprised if we break above 36,650. Let me just put a horizontal trend line right around here. So let me just get back in price. So you can see very well that this is exactly where we got rejected. All right. Once we break above this region, there is a very nice possibility and a very certain possibility that we see a move towards 39,664. So make sure that you're not shorting in this region. Once we break above this crucial level of resistance for the time being 36,677, we are definitely going to see a move and another flush of liquidity of another 8% move on Bitcoin. Interestingly, we also have some imbalance around here, but I would not consider this imbalance to be as strong as this one. And this imbalance also aligns perfectly with our most common price targets for a wave 3, which is the 0.886 and the 1 Fibonacci level, which is coming at 38,658 and 40,437. So I'm looking at these prices at the moment. I think that Bitcoin should definitely move towards $39,000 before we actually see a major correction or any kind of retrace, because this would actually mean that we are going to form a wave 3. And more interestingly, what you need to consider consider from this setup as well is that you can see that wave 1 is shorter in time compared to wave 2 all right so for this move to happen from this point to this point it took less time compared to the move that happened from this point to this point all right we took more time in this region compared to the time that we took to come towards the upside so that would mean that wave 2 was an extended wave 2 and that implies according to Elliott wave theory that your wave 4 is going to be a short one all right so that makes it even more interesting so that means and this is just a pure speculation at the moment because i will be creating a video about it when we are at this region and we will be interpreting wave 4 price action as well but for the moment what i can see right now is if we see a move towards the upside which is your wave 3 finalization in this region maybe we get rejected at $40,000 or $39,000 and we form wave 4 before we continue towards the upside for a wave 5 or we could see this move towards the upside and touch the 1.236 Fibonacci level at $44,000 and then we are going to see a wave 4 formation. But interestingly because wave 2 is an extended wave which means it took a lot of time to form that actually means that wave 4 is going to be a very short wave and we are going to see another impulse towards upside for a wave 5 formation it's not going to take a lot of time inside of wave 4 for bitcoin before we start 
moving towards upside for a wave 5 formation and then we see another move towards the downside now guys coming on to even smaller time frames we can see that this is our 4 hour time frame and you can see very well that we are looking inside of a triple one two bullish impulse all right and what does that actually mean so let me just explain that to you because it could get very confusing for some people so for example this is your wave one two three four and five all right now inside of every single impulse in an Elliott wave we see five wave structures so for this wave one we are going to see one two three four and five all right and similarly for the other two structures that are an impulse we are going to see same structures now inside of that also we are going to see five wave structures so this wave one is also going to be a wave one two three four five and so on so basically you just need to go on to smaller time frames to actually see these smaller waves inside of larger waves all right and this is what i'm going to show you right now because this is what is exactly happening right now now guys you can see very well the yellow count that i have marked is the higher degree so you can assume the yellow one to be this larger wave all right now the green count or the blue count is of a little smaller degree so you can count it as this one all right and we are basically right around here in this region and the red count is going to be the smallest degree in terms of Elliott wave and we are going to be in this region so just look at this price structure and you can see where we are in terms of price action right now all right so for this example you can see that this is your wave one two and then we are looking for a three and then four and then five and inside of wave three we are looking for five wave structures which would mean that this is your wave one right around here wave two wave three is what we are looking at and then wave four and wave five and now inside of wave three of this blue wave we are going to see these red waves all right so let me just zoom in a bit so you can see it very clearly now inside of this you can see this is your wave 1 the fake ETF approval listing was wave 1 and then wave 2 and then wave 3 and usually the wave 3 inside of a wave 3 inside of a larger degree wave 3 is the highest volume and that is what we saw in this short squeeze towards upside when we moved from 31,000, 32,000 dollars all the way to 36,000 dollars. So this perfectly aligns with our analysis in this chart and you can see that this is your wave 3 and guys right now what we are looking at is the wave 4 formation of this red or pink count all right so we are going to take a deeper look into this one on even smaller time frames but before that i want to show you one thing and that is the important levels of retrace for a wave 4 inside of this structure towards the upside so for a wave 4 you have to basically plot a fibonacci from this high which is your wave 3 high and take it all the way down to the wave 2 low around here and your most likely price targets for a wave 4 formation is going to be the 0.382 Fibonacci level and the 0.5 Fibonacci level. Now these two levels of retrace before we continue towards upside according to this structure is coming at $32,400 and $33,430. Now keep this in mind while we go further into the chart on smaller time frames. Now guys looking at this structure on the 30 minute time frame you can see that from this point onwards we saw this move towards the downside then we came back up then we went down and then we are basically ranging in this same structure but interestingly we retraced not above the 0.786 fibonacci level from this high to this low if you plot a fibonacci you can see that we have not crossed this level that would actually mean that this is an impulse towards the downside and that is why we actually caught this move towards the downside of a short and then we also shared another trade from this point onwards to short but on the bybit chart it did not go below this wick but on coinbase it did go and we actually did a target of our trade but we saw this happening on the bybit chart and we were not closing below this wick so we actually revoked that trade as well but what actually i just wanted to show you here is there are two possibilities whenever you see something like this all right so for this example you can see that the price came from this point to this point and then we saw this retrace towards upside so guys if this retrace is towards the 0.886 fibonacci level which would be somewhere around let me just put it on the chart as well so if this retrace went towards the 0.886 fibonacci level it would mean that this this structure this new structure that is forming is an abc or a wxy so a b c and then we see another move towards the upside all right so that actually means that if we retrace the 0.886 fibonacci level then it is very likely that we take out this high as well but that did not happen and we actually retraced to the 786 or 
the 0.5 Fibonacci level. These are the retrace levels for a wave 2. So this means that this was your wave 1, wave 2, wave 3, wave 4 and then this was your wave 5 but for some reason Bybit did not take out this low but Coinbase did so I will still consider this move to be your wave 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And then what we are seeing right now is some sort of a corrective behavior before we actually start making another impulsive structure towards the downside or we could reverse from this point as well because wave 4 has retraced to the 0.382 Fibonacci level which I did give you on the zoomed out chart as well. Now if you put a parallel channel you can also find out wave 4 formation in terms of a triangle and that would mean that you select this tool Iliad triangle wave and the price has come from the upside towards the downside so that would mean that you start from this point so A, B, C, D and now we are looking for an E and then continuation towards the upside so that gives me clear confirmation that if we come back in this region between 32,400 and 33,430 dollars this region right around here I would expect price to not go below this week right here because below that there are imbalances and the price could basically just tank down if we lose this week this week is at $32,500 I'm not expecting price to go right around here but I expect that price could definitely come back to this order block right between $33,150 and $33,300 so if we see this move towards the downside it is going to be a very good long opportunity for you all and I still expect the wave 5 formation to be at least to this high which is $36,700 alright so now guys that is all for Bitcoin for this day and guys if you want to trade Bitcoin with us then make sure that you join the free chat group on telegram where we share free Bitcoin trades every single day and we catch every single move and it's a wonderful community where you can also share your own ideas and also clear your doubts. The link to join the free chat group is in the description below. Make sure you check that out. Now guys, if you want to take your trading to another level and trade with us, trade like the market makers, understand where the liquidity is in the market, understand the nitty gritty of trading crypto, then make sure that you join Hybrid Whales Premium and kickstart your trading journey in the right direction before the next bull run arrives now to join that all you need to do is contact us on twitter or telegram the links to contact us are also given in the description below and guys if you are looking forward to build a spot portfolio for the next bull market then make sure that you check out hybrid whales 100x program where we have handpicked more than 50 crypto projects that we believe are going to outperform the rest of the market right now there is a big discount on lifetime membership of 100x program a one-time payment of $147 and you get access to exact buy and sell entry and exit points as well as spot trades inside of that channel. To join that as well you have to just click the link in the description below to contact us and get access to the Hybrid Whales 100x program. Alright now guys that is all if you enjoyed watching this video then make sure that you drop a like and also comment down below what you think about Bitcoin in the near future and if you're new to the channel then make sure that you smash that subscribe button and also ring that bell icon so that you can be notified whenever I put up another update. That's all guys I'll see you in the next one till then happy trading bye bye.